Hello Vibe, welcome to Into Watford and Watford High Street. We're going to stroll right down to the shopping centre in just a minute. You're with me, Noah Abrahams. On the day it opens, it's very busy as we go down. We're right by the ponds at the moment, so we're at the very top, right by the Mayor's office. We're going to stroll all the way down, we're going to go past Primark, and we're going to go to the entrance of Into Watford. I'm going to show you what it's all about. So let's start walking. It's a really nice day today, so if you're coming down, make sure you're hydrated, you've got water, and you're wearing your face mask. Mine got lost in the post. Okay, so there's not much going on to be honest as we come down from the top of the high street. The banks are open, Nationwide's open, uh, the pharmacies are open. So business is slowly getting back to normal. We've got an ice cream parlor over there. I think it's new, haven't been here in a while. Um, last time I was here, I went up to uni. So the last time I was here was probably Christmas time. So there's a new ice cream shop if you want to go check out some ice cream. Pop world. We won't be able to go clubbing for a while, but <laughs> it's still here. Slug and lettuce, I think, reopening very soon. So we've got some good stuff going on along Watford High Street, and it'll get busier as we go down. As you can see, it's not that packed at the top at the moment. It's more as you go down, the people start flooding in. So this is it. it just make sure, seriously, to stay hydrated today. If you come down, it's going to be really hot inside the shopping centre. We all know how warm it can get inside places like Primark. So stay hydrated and <laughs> bring a baseball cap because you don't want to get any heat stroke. It's a really nice day. Maybe get down to Casterbury Park after. I think that's what I'm going to be doing with my Vibe microphone. So as we go down a little bit, we've got news agents open and we're going to head down to Watford Market now past Barracuda. To be honest, not much going on up here, up this end. It's more down that end, but we thought we'd start. We thought we'd start up this end. Tell you what it's all about. Where are we walking past now? So we're walking past the gym, that's really interesting. Fitness for less, Watford High Street. Gyms aren't open yet. So the doors to the gym are still shut. So whilst nearly everything else is open on the high street, the gym is still closed. So if you're like me, you're piling on the pounds. Um, it's Barracuda, which it's open for takeaway, so if you want to continue piling on the pounds like I have been doing all locked out, then I would recommend going in. So we go past the old pound and the old McDonald's now as we go under Watford Market Bridge. Pretty busy on the roads, getting into Watford today. Tesco was very, very busy. Got to Tesco about nine o'clock, scouted it out, was really busy. Uh, being and bargains open, and we've got our stewards on the high street, which is really fantastic to have. We're very lucky in Watford to have such great public services and the likes of stewards are really doing a great job today making sure that everything's okay so the banks are open we can see like kind of the okay so we're going past Santa and there now where the is taking place okay so we're back up after some poor internet connection Greg's isn't open which is really really sad but the banks are and they're doing great business today it's really good to see social distancing taking place. It's obviously still a massive thing. Very important that we stay two meters apart from one another. Shoe zones open if you want a new pair of shoes. Maybe during lockdown, you play too much football in the garden. You've worn out those shoes going for long walks for the dog. So go get some shoes. Starbucks is open. That's the most important thing on the high street, of course. Halifax, you've got Rosa's Peri Peri if you want some chicken. Always want a bit of chicken. Um, so we'll go down there. You've got the phone hub closed still. So it's really sad to see small businesses like the phone hub kind of going down uh, whilst in lockdown. That won't be there when everything reopens fully. However, it's great to see so many businesses thriving. I know we all love the weather spoons in Watford. It is hands down. And I know you listeners, because I speak to you every week, every Monday night on The Late Show, and we love the weather spoons. It isn't open at the moment. Fingers crossed that we'll get back in business very soon. Burger King though, I think Burger King are doing delivery. If you fancy a Burger King or a KFC, Five Guys has been open a while now. Five Guys somehow flourished during this. Um, who can blame? Who can blame Five Guys customers? We just love a Five Guys. Okay, so now we're getting down into the main bit. I've done the shopping tour kind of thing, and we're getting down into the extension, the atrium of into Watford. Where we've got TJ Fridays and Cine World. It gets busier now. So this is how it looks on Watford High Street as it gets busier as we get towards the real action end of the into Watford opening. So let's go down a little bit and explore what's going on. We've got stewards just down there. We've got, I tell you what's really interesting. We've got these signs. 
we've got these two metre distance signs. So Watford, you know, it's paying note, the mayor of Watford, Peter Taylor, taking this really seriously, which is great to see, as are all the authorities, as is Dean Russell, our MP uh, for Watford. So if we stop here, we can see the atrium is open. Uh, and it's looking good to be fair. It's looking really good. <laughs> Not too busy because it's a massive space. However, as we get down, it's going to get a lot more cramped. No building work going on. They stopped it for our Facebook Live because I told them <laughs> to, uh, to completely plug it. So let's get out of the road. Don't walk in the road when you're on Watford High Street. <laughs> Now it's going to get a lot busier. If we look over there, there's a massive queue for Nat West. Uh, but there are signs for social distancing that say keep your distance, so we are okay. Let's keep on going down. This is the casino lounge and cafe bar. Interesting to see these places. I'm not sure this one's open yet for delivery. Now this steward will probably tell us to cross the road. They're doing a fantastic job. How are you today? I'm very well, how are you? Good, thank you. Is it busy? Um, it's busy now, but then it should be really. Uh, hey, hi. You're doing a great job. Thank, Thank you, very, you very, much. very much. Thank you. You too. Okay, so <laughs> our fantastic stewards on Watford High Street as we go down. But there's police here, so everyone's doing their bit to chip in, make sure the social distancing and everything else is in place. Bit of a cue for another bank. So many banks in Watford, you don't realise it until you walk down the whole high street how many banks there actually are. But the queues are looking good in terms of people keeping two metres apart. Poundland, one of the most important parts of the high street. You can't go to Watford if you don't go to Poundland. You haven't, you haven't got the full Watford experience. Um, but I don't want to shout too loud. They've got a very loud voice apparently. There's Anthony Joshua's post box. But I don't want to ruin too many people's days. The Specsavers over there are still open. As is Wenzel's. Wenzel's a very important part of Watford High Street. And as we walk down, it's getting busier. It really is. Uh, we've got the waste recycling changes. The signs we know, all know about the green bins made famous by Vibe 107.6 and the Mayor of Watford, Peter Taylor. If we walk down now, it, it is getting busier. Just make sure when you come to Watford, you're keeping your two metre distance and that you are being safe whilst here. So Cafe Nero not open. Uh, if you go past Bushy Arches, you've got the Costa drive through and then once you're in Watford you've got the Starbucks and you've got I think a few other coffee options you shouldn't be out of coffee if you come to Watford this is really interesting the M&S opening so you've got all of these kind of uh, these barriers some guy at the door doing a great job loving it loving life at M&S and this is great to see this is one of my favorite parts that the small businesses are still open and that is really fantastic. Obviously some aren't, but the small businesses that are back in business, you really can't beat it. So let's go down now. We're getting to the action end of Into Watford where it's opening. <laughs> and it should get quite busy. There's a guy that looks a bit like Mark Zuckerberg, the Facebook owner, that's very cool. Um, so you see all sorts of things when you come to Watford. Keep on going down. So there's signs everywhere saying keep your two meter distance. You've got these footprints, uh, you've got the signs, and you've actually got them. When we get into under the underpass, or even on the pavement, you can see the footprints where they want you to be. Here's what everyone comes to Watford for it's Primark. Um, you can't go in this entrance when you come to Primark, you have to go round and underneath the tunnel, underneath the path. So you've got to go past the Metro Bank to get into Primark. I know that's what a lot of you will be doing here today. Our fantastic police doing some really great work across the road and now we're going to go into the business end okay this is where the action happens <laughs> this is into Watford my assistant is walking backwards because she's an absolute legend um, so this is into Watford we're coming up to the main strip where it's all opening actually it's not too bad if you want to get down it, about half an hour ago it was really really busy at the moment it's okay, it's not too bad in terms of people. You can come, you can keep your two meter distance and you can probably just enjoy the day. Queues aren't what I thought they would be. So it's all looking good if you're gonna come down. The queue only starts really as you get under the underpass. So don't worry about queues too much today. If you're gonna come, come and then enjoy the nice weather. It's a beautiful day, go outside, stay outside. You've got the whole of Watford High Street to walk up and down. But if you want to go to Primark, 
than you can do because the queues aren't too bad. Same goes for getting into into Watford. I'm going to show you what it looks like. We can't go in, unfortunately, but I'm going to show you exactly what the high street and into Watford look like as it opens today. So, these are the queues. We're underneath the atrium now, and obviously there's a bit of a queue for Primark and getting into the shopping centre itself. Understandable, it's the first day opening, but look at the lines on the floor, people keeping their two metre distances as they wait in line to get into, into Watford. There's hand sanitizers as we get around the corner, um, and there are people on the doors manning it, so it's all done really safely. No half measures. This is done properly today as people try and get into, into Watford Shopping Centre. Both sides, manned by into Watford staff, and if you just look in really quickly, really quickly you see the hand sanitizers there so <laughs> it's all looking good and that's your tour of Watford into Watford opening today the queues aren't too bad so you can come get down enjoy the town enjoy the weather have a great day listen to the late show on vibe 107.6 and 9 p.m i've been Noah Abrahams and i will see you then